I, I don't think it's just Southeast Asian youth. I think it's globally. Because the world has definitely changed. Technological change, globalization, the connectivity between countries, cultures, and economies is very, very different from when I was growing up. Right. So, so it's not going to be just that I finished 10 years of education, I've got a university degree. The question is not what you know. The question is, what can you do with what you know? And if what you know is no longer relevant, do you have a capacity to learn anew? Right? So this notion of lifelong learning uh, is a phrase that's often bandied about, but I think it really is going to be a reality. So your, your degree might be just your first step. Your year 10 diploma may be just a first step. You've got to be able, it seems to me, not therefore to know and to enjoy learning. Anytime, just in time, learning is going to be important. I think they are doing quite a bit of it. My concern would be not so much do they know what policies to adopt. My concern is do they have the capacity to adopt and adapt and implement those policies because that requires a certain degree of capacity. This morning we've been talking about NGOs and private public partnerships and all the rest of it. That all points to a general inability of bureaucracies largely in Southeast Asia, but prevalent in Asia, and I would say in Africa and Latin America, to have the capacity to, to be able to implement policies, which basically means shifting what is existing into something different. It's going to take a long time. Most governments work on five-year election cycles. A new minister comes in, some new policy or the other. And teachers have to cope with policy changes. And the more frequent the policy changes, the less the inclination to change, to implement. So I think the, the, the thing is not so much policy. The thing is, how do you build capacity to implement? How do you communicate the intent of policy? How do you resource policies? It's no point asking somebody who's taught in a particular way, oh, you now have to teach with IT. Some of them may not have the skills to teach with IT. So unless you invest in professional development, right? unless you treat teachers as professionals who can make professional judgments in the classroom, they're not going to have the change.